Okay, so let us consider uh, why it is more difficult to cause this seesaw to rotate and to raise this child up off the ground if you are, are applying your force closer to the pivot, number one, or if you are applying the force at an angle. So it really has a lot to do with work, okay, the amount of work that you need to put in to raise this child. So, well, that's actually a true statement in real life. There's a lot of work you need to put in to raise a child. But we're talking now in, in terms of physics. What is, what is the change in potential energy of this child? It is mg delta y, okay? So uh, the seesaw ra is raised delta y, so that is the change in potential energy. And we know that the work done by this person is equal to this change in potential energy, mg delta y. And what is the work? It is force times your displacement, which in this case would be delta y f. Okay? So the work done by this person is the force times the displacement or the force displacement, which is delta y f, okay, which is equal to mg delta y. Now, because he is pushing right at the end, uh, these deltas are the same. These displacements are the same. Okay? Which means that this f is equal to mg in this specific case. Alright? Now, what happens if he starts to apply the force there? Well, the, the most that he can displace the seesaw in this specific case, if he goes halfway, is a half delta F. So if the amount um, of potential energy does not change in order to raise this child, then, um, then the right hand side is fixed. This is fixed on the right hand side. And so if my if my delta y goes down, so if I've got half delta y f, then I need 2 times f in order for it still to equal this mg delta y. So you can see that as you're moving closer, you require, more, uh, you require a larger force. It's still the same work. Same work. Okay, the same work. But the force is, at this point, the force is double. So the force gets larger and larger that is required to raise this person off the ground. So that's the one reason. Actually, it's the same reason uh, if you consider angles. Okay? So if you're applying a force there, but now you're applying it at an angle, um, Remember that only the perpendicular component will do work. The perpendicular component of this force will do work. So, if you're applying, so then in order to do the same amount of work, this force has to be much larger in order to uh, get this component to do the necessary amount of work. Okay. So, this is the optimal state. You want you want to increase this, which we call the lever arm, as much as possible. And you want to be applying a force that is perpendicular to this, um, to this seesaw. Okay, we'll go into more detail in the next one.